What's one thing you learned from COVID? That we don't have a snowball's chance in hell of fighting climate change. In 2020, with hospitals overflowing and thousands dying a day, we couldn't convince people to wear a mask or distance. Now in 2021, that we have a vaccine, something that takes two steps, 15 minutes, three weeks apart, maybe just one step, can't get people to do it. Now think about how complex climate change is and having to explain it to the same group of people. Suffering to other people doesn't matter to them. They don't care how many would die in climate change. They're sticking to their guns. The idea of empathy is so foreign to them that they can't figure out how other people care for other people. They say it in everybody's comments. You worry about you. You got the shot. Good for you. Let me worry about me. We are worried about you guys because y'all are dying. If that doesn't motivate them, nothing else will. My man raised some really valid points about how we handle 2020 versus what we really, really have to do moving forward as a society and as a species. Hey, what's going on, everybody? You know who it is. It's Jackson White, co-founder and chief of Continent Politoscope. And thank you for once again tuning in to The Young Turks. Now, as my man was pointing out, okay, in the middle of a pandemic, the United States, the wealthiest country in the history of civilization, with all the resources and money and technology that we have access to, we had pretty much the worst response on earth to the pandemic. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people dying, and still we had millions of people who refused to wear masks, who were acting like their rights were being trampled on, who were acting as if, you know, they just had to make a stand against wearing a mask in a private store because people didn't want to die of COVID as hundreds of thousands of people around them were. And even still to this day, you know, most people who won't take the vaccine are in those far right wing echo chambers. Now, there are people who don't want to take it for other reasons, but most of the people who don't want to take the vaccine are caught up in Republican echo chambers. Now, when it comes to climate change, how that's related to every single other area that we have to improve, let's talk about infrastructure. So as climate change continues to ravage, we see that our failing infrastructure really, really does no good for things like forest fires, wildfires, flooding, as hurricanes get worse and worse and worse by the year. Joe Biden, when he was running for office, he wanted to go for a $6 trillion infrastructure bill that got talked down to three and a half trillion which then got talked down to below $2 trillion. It's now being negotiated up to maybe 1.75 because of two people, Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin. Now, climate change alone, what are we gonna do? What type of snowball's chance in hell do we have if we can't even get a $3.5 trillion infrastructure bill passed when we have historic wildfires, historic flooding, worse and worse hurricanes, as weather just continues to become unpredictable as summers become more and more hot, we can't even improve our infrastructure. You know, we can't even get our education system together. We can't even modernize our education system as the job market is changing. The traditional jobs and office jobs are starting to become less and less relevant. We can't even increase access to modern education. We can't even get our workforce prepared. We can't even, we're, argue, we're arguing on Fox News about free lunch for students in schools because that'll teach them how to not be responsible. What are we going to do? This is literally the fall of Rome that we're watching, America, what we're in right now. We have so many serious issues and we can't even get people to get shots. We can't even get people to wear masks. So what the hell are we going to do about climate change, education, health care, infrastructure, taxes? I mean, you name it. What are we going to do? We can do a lot. So let's continue to get involved.